tragedy in the Muslim holy city of Mecca. At least 65 people were killed when a crane fell through the ceiling of the Grand Mosque, the largest mosque in the world. The Saudi Arabia Civil Defense reports that more than 100 others were injured. It happened on Friday, September 11th, around 5.45 p.m. local time. Details on the accident are still pretty vague as emergency crews rushed to the scene. But many reports indicate a storm might have caused the crane to collapse. Friday's accident comes just weeks before millions of Muslims from all over the world are said to gather in Mecca for the annual Hajj pilgrimage. Construction work has been going on at the Grand Mosque for years now in an effort to make it large enough to support the massive crowds. For Newsbeat Social, I'm Molly Real. Which promotes prosperity to the society. We have to use innovation to generate high value added product for becoming the global player. The foundation for academic research is creative. Now friends, I would like to present my experience of learning system design, system integration and system management which I required while I was a student five decades ago like you. I was nearly five decades ago. I was a student in Madras Institute of Technology 1954-57 in engineering, diagnostic engineering. There, I met a professor, Professor Srinivasan, who is famous for it, the Aero Design. He gave us a six-month project that is to design, develop, and, and see, design, bring out a design on a low-level attack aircraft. And we were six people, one from aerodynamics, another person structure, another from control and guidance, another from electronics, another from material. All of us worked together for five months and my teacher one day from Srinivasan entered into our laboratory and saw he gave a he gave a very bad report. He said the design has not advanced so far and is a hopeless and he said so in a month time it will not